Okay, in this video we're going to talk about our second angle relationship of today. We just talked about corresponding angles, now we're going to talk about alternate interior angles. And this alternate interior angles are still an angle relationship that you get when you have this kind of a scenario. When you have two lines that are cut with what we call a transversal, right? Transversal come, goes like across both of them. So um, here they're not parallel, and here they are parallel, so there's they're kind of similar, but this has an extra bonus feature. So let's talk about what the alternate interior angles are. Okay, so alternate, alternating means like switching back and forth, right? So alternate can also mean like opposite, like one's on one side and one's on the other. So alternate can mean opposite. Interior means between the two lines. So not the transversal line, but the other two. I kind of shaded here in blue the interior uh, in between these two lines. Because interior means on the inside, so this is on the inside of the two lines. So alternate interior means opposite sides of the transversal, but inside the two other lines. So opposite sides of the transversal, inside the two lines. Okay, so one and two are alternate interior angles, and three and four are alternate interior angles as well. Um, you don't have to have parallel lines to have alternate interior angles. These are obviously them, so I just listed the, the pairs, okay? Now, however, if you have parallel lines, then you get a bonus. So you have alternate interior angles here, you have them here as well. The bonus is in this situation, they happen to be congruent. In other words, if I have an opposite or an alternate interior angle pair, then those, those two angles in the pair are congruent to each other. And likewise, these are congruent to each other. So again, alternate, they're on the opposite side of the transversal. And interior, they're on the inside of the two parallel lines. So these, this is, makes a pair, one and two, those are congruent. And three and four make a pair, and those are congruent as well. What we can do with that piece of information is we can use that to solve for missing angle measurements. Just like we did with vertical angles and linear pairs and now um, the uh, consecutive or, um, corresponding angles that we just did. So in this situation, notice that I have two lines that are parallel and they're cut with a transversal. So these two labels here are on opposite sides of the transversal, but they, um, actually, sorry, let me switch that transversal. I think I wrote it going the other way. Doesn't really matter, but just so our angles are accurate, it should be more like this. Okay, but anyway, they're on opposite sides of the transversal, right? Um, but they're on the inside, interior. Okay, um, I guess I should say as well, like, when I say opposite sides, not only are they um, on the opposite side, but they're also like, this one's on the top one and this one's on the bottom one. So. Like these, I guess, technically are on you know opposite sides of the transversal, but we know that these are supplementary. So it's like the, the one that's kind of like kitty corner from it. So opposite meaning like opposite this way and it's kind of on the other line as well. So just, just to kind of be clear. Um, okay, let's go ahead and set this up. So we know that because these two lines are parallel, these have to be congruent to each other. So 13x plus 7 equals 15x minus 5. Okay, let's start grouping our x's. So 7 equals 2x minus 5. We'll add 5 to both sides. We'll do a plus 5 and a plus 5. Okay, so we'll get, um, whoops, sorry, this is 12. 12 equals 2x, and if you divide both sides by 2, you get 6 equals x. Okay, that's great. Uh, that's going to help us out. We don't want x, though. We want two angle measurements. So 13 times 6 plus 7 should give us that angle, and 15 times 6 minus 5 should give us that one. But obviously, we know they should, they should be the same. They're, they should be congruent. So let's double check that and make sure. Okay, so 13 times 6, I'm going to need parentheses there, um, plus 7. Okay, so we get 85 for this top one. Okay, I should get 85 at the bottom as well. So I'm going to do 15 times 6, it's 90. So 
subtract 5, and yep, that's 85 as well. So you really don't have to do it twice if you know they're congruent, but it's a good check. So the measure of both of these angles is 85 degrees. Okay? That's how you do that. So remember, alternate interior angles. Alternate meaning opposite sides of the, um, the transversal, and also you know, we have to add, it's not, it's not these two, these are on the opposite side, but like it's across from it and it's kind of on the other line. So kind of opposite this way. Um, and interior means they're in between the two lines. So um, if the lines are parallel, you're gonna have uh, congruent angles there.